What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another episode on flipping cars to the top. Guess what guys? We are sitting in the Kia Picanto. Reason being, um, as you read from the title, this is how I prevent getting warranty claims. This is why I never want mention warranty claims. Not to say I get warranty claims and I just hide it from you guys. That's not it. I... Touch wood, I've never really got any warranty claims. I've only ever had one guy call me back and he was trying to haggle me on the price from the second he got there. It was a Ford Fiesta. It's probably in one of my videos, actually. Uh, 2000, yeah. It was a Ford It was a Ford I had and um, Ford Focus, I think, actually. And he came there telling me the clutch was gone literally when he was buying the vehicle, even though the clutch was not gone. Uh, but he wanted to pay £800 for the car and he tried to make sure that he got his money got the car for what he wanted it for uh i can assure you guys uh car was listed at 1100 pound he paid the 1100 pound and um yeah he just couldn't accept the fact that he paid 1100 pound for it and by the time he got home he called me back saying i didn't make it home a uh, car's broken down come and get the car blah 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 the clutch is gone thinking that i would say fair enough um let me give you some money back. He wants some money to replace the clutch and he'll keep the car. That's what he said. Uh, however, he can piss off because I didn't fall for his shit. I said, I'll come get the car. And he said, I do want the car. I do want the car. Can we at least go halves on the clutch? Um, to be honest with you, I gave him £150 back. Um, he said it was going to be our £300 because he's going to do the work himself. Um, I gave him £150 back. reason I did that, guys, is because I had a number of vehicles and I needed to try and get rid of a few bits of cars and keep the process moving. The money I made on that car, I could have bought another car, made a little bit more profit on that, and so on and so on. So, me sitting there and waiting for a 1.8 uh, diesel to sell, you know, when I can buy something with a lot smaller engine and it will fly out the door a lot quicker, was the best solution for me. But... Back to the topic, guys. How do I prevent getting warranty claims? So the reason I never mention warranty claims is because I don't actually really get them apart from that one. And my secret and technique is I use my vehicles. As you know, I am in the Kia Picanto. As you can see, I am sitting in this vehicle for a very good reason and why I've actually decided to do this video. Because um, if you remember the Seat LT that I bought a long time ago probably around three f three and a half four months ago whatever it's been um i've actually um been using that car on a daily basis. i think it was around 67 when i got it the mileage i'm not too sure um basically it's on around 72 now so i've been using the car on a daily basis. and what's actually happened is all over the weekend i've been i was going to clacton on sea it's about over 100 miles from where i am and uh, the clutch decided to go. So as you see, I've been using the car daily use. And that's over, what is it, over, you know, 68. That's probably around 4,000 miles if, um, yeah, around 4,000 roughly, give or take. Around 4,000 miles. So I've actually used the vehicle to a good enough standard. And as you know, I'm a rally driver, guys. So I use my vehicles to the highest of their potential. And um, 4,000 miles later, three, three months into it, the clutch has gone and it's happened to me rather than getting that car cleaned knowing very well that um knowing very well that the clutch you had a noisy clutch um release bearing so what is it no dual mass noisy dual mass and um so i thought to myself let me hang on to it rather than putting it up for sale straight away the car's been great as well diesel i needed a big car as well with the family so i decided to use that however less than you know five months into it clutch is gone it's happened to me so i am so i'm going to take that on the chin and i'm going to work my magic either sell it cheap or potentially fix it and sell it you know with a brand new clutch either way you know i'm going to be in the same situation so we'll figure that out when we get there um reason i'm actually doing the video is because that it happened to me on friday and i knew that it was going to happen at some point i knew the clutch was on its way out and rather than selling to someone else and letting them have to deal with the situation, I decided to keep the vehicle, see how well it goes. And when the clutch goes, you know, I will either sell it cheap or repair it. Right. That brings us to today's topic. And we are sitting in the Kia Picanto. I've actually been using this vehicle for, um, for quite a while now. I've just been going up and down. Nothing's really special. But when I got back, because I had to go Clacton on sea, I actually needed a vehicle. And the Kia Picanto was sitting there, all taxed up, all MOT'd, uh, just waiting to be driven. And I thought, you know what, I've been driving this car 
every single day, just up and down, you know, local driving to the shops, taking the kids to school, or when it was at school, that is. And um, yeah, let me get this car, give it a motorway run, and sort of see how this performs in the motorway. It performed flawless, guys. I was, you know, moving with the speed of traffic, as they say. I'm going with the flow. The car kept up. He held momentum, and he drove like a magic carpet. And that's not an exaggeration. I can see why people love Kia's. They don't look that great. This shape, anyways, does not look that great. But I will guarantee you guys, this car is amazing. It is full of gadgets in it for what it is. The drive, it wasn't even loud in the mower way. The it very noise level was very quiet. Very, very well built car, to be honest. Absolutely 10 out of 10. It drove flawlessly. Um, and, you know, back to the topic again, guys. This is how I prevent my self getting warranty claims. It drove flawlessly. It drove to motorway speed and it drove 100 miles plus there, 100 miles plus back. And it did that all in one day. And, um, you know, it's still in use. As you can see, I'm sitting in the vehicle now. I will chuck in a clip of when I got the vehicle and what the mileage was. And right about now, actually. Now, let me chuck in a clip of what the mileage is. So have a look at the mileage right. now. As you can see, it's around 46. So, yeah, I've done a few few hundred well, miles in the car. I have driven the car on a motorway, so I can rule out, you know, if anything's going to happen, rather than just getting the car clean, painted, and all this prepped up, ready for sale, selling it and saying, fuck it, I'll just wait for the warranty to come. I don't like to do that. I'd rather drive the vehicles. I don't want anyone calling me back because, to be honest, I want the money to come in my pocket and stay in my pocket. So... Yeah, this is what I do. I drive them. So, driving the car for, what is it, over 200 miles, what sort of problems did I come across? And uh, mechanically, absolutely none. The car drove flawlessly, as, as it has been for a few months now. Uh, only thing I can say is air conditioning doesn't work, so it doesn't get cold at all. We need to, the light goes on, so we clearly got power. The AC is kicking in. It just probably needs regassing. Um, secondly, the front driver's side pads seem to be wearing a bit thin now, so I will need to address that. So that's front uh, brakes, discs and pads that will get done. It does have a full service history. It had had an advisory free MOT as well. Um, but yeah, full service history. I think last time it was serviced was in 2018. Mileage at 43,400 plus. Um, so yeah, um, just basically around 3,000 miles ago it was serviced, but that was in 2018, as I said. Um, well, it was late 2018, so you could technically say 2019, but that's still three years, and you know we still need to get this car up for sale, so it'll be good. The oil is actually clean, it's like golden, the oil is immaculate. Um, engine bay self performance as I said there's no lag on it it drives really well reason we actually haven't um, got this car for sale was because the body shop was meant to do the back bumper address all the paint stuff around the car and stuff like that but he's just been longing me out um, a lot of people use this guy I go to so he's pretty much the go-to guy for every car dealer um, so what I've decided to do is take on the job myself, guys. It just needs a quick sand in. Um, let me get out of the car. So, show you where sorry about the wind, guys. Um, as you can see, um, it's just someone's just loosely purchased the bumper. They've not even sanded it down. As you can see, there's not even keyed it. Um, so we're going to sand that down, give it a nice paint. That's the nice thing about being having black paint. It shouldn't, you know, be outstanding. The paint on the vehicle as well is really good. I mean, look at the the depth of them tires. They are pretty much. I mean, they are pretty much brand new tires. And we we talking about all round there like that, you know. So car itself, you know, we got that there to deal with. We have got a few scuffs, but as you know, chops we can polish that out quite easily. A few little marks here, and uh, we got here that should buff out. So fingers crossed. The main thing as well, we got categorized end. This is uh, don't forget number plate is damaged, but we got one in the window, guys. And it's got the business name, the new business name, guys. So I will be revealing my new business name and what I've decided to call my company uh, going forward. So this one here will be gone alongside that name there. So yeah, we've got to deal so with that. So we're moving forward guys and uh, progression, progression, progression. Always surround yourself with people doing uh, a lot better than what you are doing. 
in order to be successful try and prevent getting warranty claims by using uh, the vehicles you have um to to a higher standard rather than just going up and down i get that you can go drive a car and it will seem fine i could drive this car and it will seem fine but there at any time something could go wrong so you know there is no calling anyone out it's all about you know if something's going to go wrong it's going to go wrong it's as simple as that and um i just thought i'd do a quick video because obviously my clutch went and i got stranded on the motorway and I thought, you know what, it's a good thing I didn't sell the vehicle because it's less than six months. Someone else with a family, especially buying a CLT XL, they would be a family. And they would be in a situation where, you know, they're broken down. Not a nice thing, to, to be honest with you. I actually had my kids in the car as well. So, yeah, it wasn't really nice. We had to wait over two hours as well. But it is what it is. Thank God I was only about 30 minutes away from my home. Got recovered. And then as soon as I got back, got in this Kia Picanto and then this you know outperformed itself really so yeah if anything i would like to keep this car but you know for the prices they're going for automatics are in high demand we need to get it gone out the door and keep moving forward um yeah so that's my tip on how to prevent uh warranty claims and yeah i don't like to call people out if people don't want to you know prevent if people don't want to talk about warranties you gotta respect that i just thought uh i'd do a nice video on why I don't get warranty claims and you know I'm not really saying if people don't want to talk about it you gotta respect it I don't want to mention other people's video because other people do good you gotta respect everyone else in the channel and their channels and not say other YouTube channels and all that kind of stuff so just be respectful to other people around you guys especially in the trade we're all trying to make some money we're all trying to do it legit um yes i'm not speaking for everyone you know other people if they want to be dodgy they want to be dodgy that's their business uh as long as i do what i gotta do and i keep it you know keep it 100 my reviews are building up as well so i'm doing really well and i you know i always point out every single thing that is needed on my vehicles mechanically sound they have to be sound because there's no point selling the car if someone can't drive away cosmetic side of things they may not always be perfect but i do state that in all my listings and I've been getting really good reviews as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go and get this car cleaned up and get that bumper sanded down. And in the next video, I will show you the finishing product or the finished product of what I have done with this vehicle. Alongside revealing the new name for the business and um, more updates coming soon as well. So remember, we got the Nissan Pixar that we will be flipping from a thousand pound and hopefully trying to get a supercar one day um yeah update on that coming too so stay tuned and see you people in the next one if you're not subscribed don't forget to like subscribe and share thanks a lot to everyone that's made it this far you guys are amazing bye bye and um drive safe Take care.